And you, you taste it? That's wrong, it's very. There's a, there's a length discrepancy between the length of my sarong and the length of my schlong. So there is something going on with the quality of our water. I mean, these even aren't even microplastics. These are mi macroplastics. We have plastic dust in our water. It looks to me like gel coat dust. It's our patron group, right? We hive mind. I've minded. Thank you to Rob Hoosman, actually, who was, uh, came up with this idea. What he said is, filter it. You did this in Barcelona with your fuel. Build a polishing system. I'm gonna polish this entire water system when we get into uh, Tiamon, and that should hopefully drag the shit out of the tank. Today, we are heading to Tiamon Island. It is about 150 miles away, so an overnighter for sure. And we are aiming to get there kind of midday tomorrow. It's where they're coming. It's meant to be like 10 to 13 knots and it's 20. Cracking sail, it's a grey day and the seas are pretty lumpy but we are flying along so I'm happy about that. Between about 5am and 7am we should make landfall. Good morning. It's interesting, it's some um, screen on the camera. It seems far brighter than it actually is. It is uh, 6.30 in the morning. And uh, an hour ago, I had to drop the uh, jib and uh, sheep in the main. We just literally approached the island far too fast. We made incredible time. That was about eight and a half, nine knots over 24 hour passage, or over 160 miles. And we got in, well, we got in about five hours earlier than we thought we would. But this is a small little island chain. And yeah, we've got to do some sketchy anchoring. So I dropped the. Uh, Pulled the jib in, sheeted the main in, and managed to slow the boat out to about six, uh, six knots. And hopefully we've got about another hour. And the only reason I'm, we've got an hour is I want this to be more light in the sky. It is still pretty dark here. Interesting night passage, usual uh, fishing boats everywhere. You see the squid boats really easily because they're like lit up really, really brightly, but you actually, sometimes miss other fishing boats that are just carrying very, very, very small light. So there's no AIF here at all. On fishing boats, obviously the big cargo ships, that's uh, to international regulation, have 300 tons, but these little fishing boats have nothing. Yeah, you're, we're using radar a lot and mark one eyeball. Um, but yeah, look, as I said, a really nice, fast sail. Everything's fine on board. Teresa's fast asleep and just, yeah, I think hopefully will get tied up uh, and they said to pick up a mooring ball and I think once that's done I think we'll probably get like a couple of hours sleep but uh, I'll report back. I'm Teresa, this is Nick and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. I have built this. Again, this is just the top part of a water. It's a spare that they gave us. I don't know what they gave us. It's a spare housing for the water maker pre-filters. Now with these two plumbing fittings, they're not that they're the wrong size. These are, this is a three quarter inch and that's a half inch. So what I did, I just glue gunned it in. It's not a high pressure system, but I've got another casing underneath that. What I'm gonna do is take the deck wash output, take the hose off it, the freshwater deck wash, connect uh, that to the in, run this through a 50 micron filter, and then out back into the tank. It's a it's a food grade hose, so it's okay. But I mean, it, that, will that collect all these sediments, or will that they just collect at the bottom? I suppose they're coming through now. If it's going through a 50 micron filter, yeah. so what I'm going to do is it, anything that's going in there it will be collected in the filter. The other thing I'm going to do is there's an inspection hatch down there. Yeah. I'm going to just get in there with a spoon like a big wooden spoon and stir it up. I'd want to try and yeah. get all the sediment into kind of like into suspension. Yeah, yeah. So that it's not sitting on the bottom of the yeah. tank. I've cleaned the tank and realistically speaking at this point, at some point, if we can't fix this, that tank has got to be dropped out of the boat, opened up and jet washed. Yeah. And the problem is that because it's a water tank, same as a fuel tank in a car, it's baffled. What is baffled? Baffled means it's got like 
uh, like compartments, not sealed compartments. Otherwise, you've got 500 litres of water just slopping back and forth, and that is not what you want. I mean, it's just it creates a huge amounts of pressure on uh, yeah. it, in the pressure waves. So you can't, through a baffled tank, get all the way through it. Yeah. So if the particulate matter is stuck to the walls, it needs to be. It has to be. It's manually. called manually debriding, yeah, yeah. and that's it's a dental term, but manual debridement. So it needs to be scrubbed there. So realistically. I don't know how much crap is in there. It, it, it could be as little as like a tablespoon, but all it needs is this grit to, f and it's blocked up so far. We've lost our ice machine to it. The gauze filter from the water from the water pump is just it, the gauze isn't fine enough. The filter in the washing machine is fine enough, and it's collecting everything, so we can see that it is collecting it. But the fact that the pipe work from the is different, so the pipe work to the ice maker is comes off a different T to the washing machine. Mm -hmm means that it's not just, it's everywhere. Yeah. Okay, domestic check-in, SIM card, rubbish, yeah? <laughs> In, in that, that order. order, in that order. Nick and I literally just walked across the street and into this little convenience store and it's got like a bit of a hardware selection and anyway, land my land sickness is like full on. I feel like I'm on like a pitching boat right now. It is trippy as, man, <laughs> are you feeling okay? Jesus, I can't remember the last time I got land sickness it's like such a weird feeling it doesn't happen to me very often but oh my word it must be like the bouncy passage yesterday <laughs> this morning so we're just going to see some stuff I saw the sign saying fishing gear we need a Malaysian flag there you go to raise all your Tupperware needs I love places like this There you go. It's all scooters. Ah. Nick. Fashion pal. I'm not to have a gut like that. <laughs> that's no gut, that's a chiseled torso. Thank you. <laughs> oh god, I look terrible. You look too Ah, oh, I look terrible. I've had two hours sleep. I haven't showered in bloody days. Not in this bucket. All right, things we need: fresh pumps. I've got Branston pickle on. Those English people. Here's a good sandwich. Wait, so we can actually keep the fishing with us down. Second bucket. So it occurs to me that this is kind of that remote travel that we used to do back in 2017, 2018. And I think that, I think this is the most remote travel we've done since then. Well, it's kind of the places that you would never go to unless you were on a boat. I mean, obviously some people do make it here when they're traveling more traditionally, or, but, um, you know, we would never come here if we were. No, but I'm just saying that this kind of like basic, beautiful infrastructure that yeah. is, I haven't seen anything like this since we left the Bahamas. Yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? Look because, like this. Yeah, because after that we came back to Europe. Bermuda was like, not like this. And then Europe wasn't like this. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Very, very nice to be back. It's got that searing, sort that searing yeah. humidity and heat that we love in the Caribbean. And I'm regretting not bringing my hat. Afternoon. Well, we arrived very, very, very early this morning, and despite the fact that we've done a whole day, I should be back in bed now. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon according to the ship's clock, which means it's lunchtime, and it feels like it should be midnight. Anyway, I need to now go and try and make this into a water filter to recycle our water. Hey. Right. Well, you do that. I, on the other hand, Nick's been asleep the last two hours, which I'm very glad about. And I've been, actually I did take a little nap to be fair, 
but I have also been trying to edit. It's really, really hard. I'm not complaining, never complaining about our amazing life and our amazing job, ever. But it's actually really hard to edit and film and do all the boat stuff. There's a whole time management thing, which is a, a real juggle. Anyway, so I've been editing this afternoon and also uploading footage to our cloud storage now that I finally have a Malaysian SIM card. And yes, I am regretting, to be honest, not getting Starlink when we had the chance because that would have been very handy. Anyway, enough about all that. That's boring stuff. Let's get on with the exciting matter of polishing our water system. This is our freshwater deck hose. This is my plan. Oh God. I'll connect this to this. Can you remind me, have you told everyone what this is? Yeah, it's basically, I've cobbled to, I've MacGyver together some hose fittings on an old, on a spare water um, filter housing. The input is going to be from a freshwater hose out, and I'm going to run this through. I'm just going to just create a, create a polishing system for our fresh water. Yep. There's just too much shit in it. Yep, that sure is. Right. Right. Filter housing. Five micron filter. So is this the same kind of filter that goes on our water maker? Yeah. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. We'll bring you to the conversation. Words to live by. housing was bright white, even running it for like 10 seconds, it's going yellow. Yes. All right, well, off we go. Off we go. Water polishing system 101. Mirrors are just turning brown. It's turning brown. That's the, that's our water. That's disgusting. Well, the algal growth, we can only blame ourselves for. Yeah, that's us. That's so. completely on us. I should have known. It's completely on me on the skipper. I should have drained the tank. I forgot to drain the tank. We were such a front foot. It was a bit of a hectic time. It was a hectic time. I didn't drain the tank. Lesson learned. I will just give a big shout out to, was it Rob? Rob Hoosman. One of our patrons. Nick was chatting about this issue in our patron WhatsApp group. And uh, Rob was like, have you tried polishing the water system? And Nick's like, genius idea. I actually think that our patron group would fix most of the world's problems. <laughs> Just give it enough time to hive mind shit together. Yeah, absolutely. They're a great hive mind. Okay, well, do you have a clock or a watch on you? No, I don't have a clock or a watch on me. Right, by the boat clock is 2.15. Uh huh. I'm going to run it for. I don't really know how long. I don't want to. Um, the pump is not going to be continuously cycled, that should be okay. I mean, it's run for an hour before. So I'm going to run it for half an hour. Okay. Uh, and hopefully, you know. We can just keep an eye on it from here. I can yeah. see it's leaking at all. Yeah. And yeah, we'll just try and suck, suck the shit out of the pump. But there's two parts to this. That is part one. Part two, I need to get this up. Part two is this. So there's our water tank. It doesn't actually look that bad. No, it doesn't. It looks good. But the sediment is in there. So it has to be agitated. There you go. I can see there's lots of sediment in there. Look at that. The tank is f***ing faulty. In fact, you can see it all getting sucked up. You can see less sediment? Yeah, but I can also see all the sediment being sucked into the pipe. So the plan is what I'm going to do after 15 minutes, after half an hour, I'm going to turn this off, just let the pump cool down. And then we're going to change the, the gauze filter. And then I'm going to change the, the five micron filter for a new one. And until that is not going brown, that's done. And once I can't get it to go brown anymore, then I'm going to swap it out for a carbon filter. Okay. Yeah. So all the brown stuff is algae. 
but you can definitely see like loads of flecks, black and white flecks of just, what is shit? Which is gel coat. Gel coat. Can I just say how nice this place is? Yeah, it's above the top. Yeah, I know. Huh. Not just us? Is that a charter? No, probably not, it's got radar. I mean, this is 20 minutes of filtration, right? Or 25 minutes of filtration. Mm. All right. All right, take two. The entire boat is an absolute mess. Inside, outside, we've been on the go for days. Barely cleaned it. And obviously while we're doing boat jobs, it is just turned upside down. So if you want to know some of the benefits our patrons get, that's pretty much it in action. Lots of real life, uh, real time, Exclusive updates, just little tidbits from life on board, lots of chat on our WhatsApp group, that's a $5 and above patrons. And they also get um, early access to all of our videos and what else they get? We, oh of course, we also do patron meetups, loads of them. So we do them in Annapolis, so the boat shows, and we also had a really cracking one in Pattaya last year where people flew over flew in from all over the world and we're doing another meetup in Europe this year so if that all sounds like it's something that you're interested in then the link is always down below in the description and if I remember I'll put a link up here as well. We are hoping that we're making progress with this water contamination problem that we have. Thank you to those who helped. So the system worked. This is 20 minutes of filtration. 20 minutes. What a f***ing gash. Okay, look, we're gonna keep doing this. Once this filter, once this one, the second filter, once we, I've got so many of these. Once this is running white, I'm then gonna run it through a carbon filter. Hopefully that will reduce the problem. Patrons, the hive mind is strong. Did you mention how we came into the marina? No, okay. So we came into the marina here at Tierman. Uh, we had to wait until this evening to get on because we're actually tied up to the ferry dock. Um, so our agent arranged for us to spend the night here. Uh, which was very convenient because we had to uh, fill up the tanks with diesel and that's what the guys are doing right now. Ah, the well-laid plans of mice and mice. Oh, God almighty. We went out at 7 o'clock because uh, it's Ramadan and what they said is we cannot deliver fuel till 9pm. So I'm thinking, they're thinking, well, there's a restaurant just down the road. If we get here, um, if we get to the restaurant at 7, we can eat by 9 restaurant on a go slow by 8 40 we still hadn't been fed i crap the shit and came back and i said to trees you eat your meal and i bring it to me in a in a takeaway uh so yeah i'm just and the guys all i would say is the fuel guys turned up exactly exactly on time um so they're just jerry canning all the fuel to us Oh, but fuel tank, port fuel tank, 60%. Shit, 60%. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a bit of a lively sale down here, but a good sale. I had a, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good sale. We hit 11 knots. Um, I discovered that this morning when we got in and we made really, really good time. And Tim and Island has just proven to be one of those really special places that we just weren't expecting. It's uh, got such a vibe here and everyone is so ridiculously friendly. Like, I, you know, friendlier than you would ever expect. So nice. The island itself from what we've seen is beautiful. And it's just a, such a shame that we can't stay for longer. Um, but I feel like that's what we're gonna be saying nonstop for the next few weeks because we are on a mission. We're on a bit of a delivery trip, really to get the boat to Piquette so that we can ship her to Europe, which is very exciting. Um, all right, so if you enjoyed this episode and you wanna see more of us sailing around Asia on our way up to Phuket, then please subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment down below. We do read them and we love them and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. Take care, bye.